for I love Oreos. At home, I eat them with, I eat them with peanut butter. There's no wrong way to eat an Oreo, but everyone has their own way of doing it. Crystal Owens has been splitting hers apart for more than 20 years. As a kid, I would always like try to get the cream evenly on both sides, but I was never able to like quite get it right. Now a PhD candidate at MIT, Crystal's research focuses on mechanics of soft solids like 3D printer ink. But recently, Crystal realized she could apply her knowledge of rheometers to crack the cookie code. All of a sudden it clicked that like this sort of like twisting machine is like perfect for giving like a very rigorous study of Oreos. Crystal posing the question, is there a way to split your Oreo and get equal amounts of cream on both wafers? It was probably about six months. I think we went through about 20 boxes of Oreos. We had to try all the different kinds, all like all the flavors, all the different stuff levels so that we could like actually do a rigorous study. Originally, Crystal and her cookie crew thought splitting the cookie with equal pressure at an even speed would result in equal amounts of cream on both sides. But think again. We found that if you if you split it perfectly, actually the cream will be all on one wafer and not at all on the other one. Why though? Because of the original way it's manufactured. The cream placed on one cookie and then the second cookie is attached. That time delay is enough that you have like the cream attaches much better to the cookie that first makes contact. Sorry, Oreo twisters, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah, there's just no way to do it perfectly. But the sweet scientific questions keep coming. The most interesting one we have right now is how to design ice cream that doesn't drip when it gets hot. Okay, I, I'm so glad I have your email address now. You're gonna be hearing from me <laughs> in the future. I'll be like, where are we with the non-drip ice cream? How's it going, Crystal? <laughs> <laughs> One other important finding from Crystal and her peers, if you dip your Oreo in milk for five seconds, you then have 60 seconds to eat it before it starts to disintegrate. So I could have majored in Oreology. Oreology. In college, why did nobody tell me this? And how about no drip ice cream? Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.